One of the most powerful things about XSplit Broadcaster is its modularity. It ships with a lot of flexible functionality built in, but much of it, like the split view or the secondary preview editor, playout options, multiple streaming destinations, etc., are all something you can disable or hide as needed. Even better, XSplit actually provides a full plugin API for Broadcaster to allow individuals or companies to develop added functionality for the software or more easily integrate their gadgets, such as with the case with the Elgato Stream Deck. In this episode, we'll be tackling XSplit's plugins and plugin store to show you how to unlock more of the Broadcaster software potential. This XSplit Masterclass is also brought to you by Owned. Owned has lots of cool graphics. You want your stream to have that wow, where'd you get that effect? Own stream designs can do that for you. You got avatars, you got logos, you've got alerts, you've got stinger transitions, you've got layouts, you can preview them in real time. They're really cool and you can fully customize them and they're easy to use. Go to eposfox.gg slash OWN3D, link in the description, check them out and upgrade your stream today. I'm Eples Vox and welcome back to my XSplit Masterclass sponsored by XSplit. In the previous episodes, we showed you how to do a lot of stuff. This is like the last episode I'm actually recording for this course, so I've said this enough times. There's all the videos are in the playlist link in the description below. If you want to learn XSplit, go check them out. If you have questions, I've already answered them. Let's talk plugins. While there are a wide gamut of plugins available in Broadcaster's plugin store, let's first look at what's included with the software from the start. Click the extensions menu at the top of the screen. Here you can see some extensions or plugins that came pre-installed with Broadcaster, such as a cool audio mixer I showed in a previous episode, the per scene audio source control, the stinger creator to make stinger transitions, an auto scene switcher, the presentation packager to move your setup from one PC to another, and even an OBS scene importer. Plus you have an extension that I've already installed myself, at least on my screen, and that being the Elgato Stream Deck. If you haven't played around with these yet, feel free to do so, as they add a lot of great functionality to Broadcaster. Let's look at the Stinger Creator, for example, really quick, since I haven't covered it. When opening some plugins, you may have to give them permission to modify XSplit. Click through to approve this plugin. This is because you can download unofficial third-party plugins, which may be unsafe. We'll cover that briefly later in the video. Stinger Creator lets you convert existing MOV files or PNG sequences with or without alpha transparency into WebM files that can be used for Stinger transitions or video overlays and require less you know, processing power to use. This is really powerful and saves you the trouble of having to download third-party apps that may or may not work. make this work how you like. I've, I've had a lot of trouble with them myself. Choose your source files, choose where the output file should go, and hit convert to WebM. Pretty straightforward and easy. Let's look at getting more plugins for your broadcaster software. Click extensions, add extension, find more extensions. Extension, 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 extension. This opens up the plugin store. Here you can sort by name, number of downloads, rating, and etc. You can also search for specific plugins if you know, you're looking for something specific. If it, it doesn't auto-populate the lists with every option, so sometimes you have to scroll and it will load more. Click an extension you wish to install and click install to get it. These are just plugins for general extensions, however. There are also plugins for additional source types and outputs. There are three icons at the top left to switch between the different kinds of plugins. And when you click them, it adds it to the list so instead of switching between them, so you have to unclick the one you were on. The default here is extensions. The leftmost is sources, and the right is outputs. Let's look at sources. Here you can add different kinds of sources depending on your needs. Live chat from different streaming services, customizable text tools, a social jukebox app, an input overlay, slideshows, alerts specific to various charity services, a whiteboard, StarCraft scoreboards, and more. Under outputs, you can add additional support for streaming services, such as Restream, Periscope, and local land streams if desired, Ustream, and plenty of others that I've never heard of and you probably haven't either. This way, you can get support for services you may need, but otherwise it's not bloating your software. Once you've installed all the extensions that you plan on using, feel free to close this window if and you're good to go. If you wish to remove extensions, you can do so by going to Extensions, Remove Extension, and choosing the correct one. For other plugins that don't show up in this remove list, you'll just have to go to the listing in the plugin store and remove it from there. You can also manually add extensions to Broadcaster from the extension file under Add Extension, Add Extension File. This is useful if you've developed your own or a tool that you're using is distributing their own extension, but this is an at your own risk kind of scenario. And I haven't really found any unique, you know, third party extensions to be able to show off that are publicly available. So it's useful, but yeah. 
Are you ready to take ultimate control over your live stream, but you're not sure how? The Elgato Stream Deck is the key to unlocking your full potential. With your choice of 6, 15, or 32 keys, all with customizable screens behind them and unlimited possibilities to nest, make folders, and pages to control your live stream with scene switching, muting your microphone, activating your Elgato key lights, and setting up multi-actions to do everything at once. Start your stream, turn on your lights, tweet your stream, you can do anything. You'd be a fool not to have this in your setup. You don't want to be a fool, do you? Check it out via the link below and tell them the stream professor sent you. And there you go. Lots of possibilities with different extensions and plugins available in XSplit Broadcast. Which tool do you see being most beneficial for your stream? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching this episode of my XSplit Masterclass. Get subscribed for more tech education and stream guides. Maybe hit the like button if you enjoyed. Uh, consider sharing this course with a friend, and I'm Evil's Vox. I'll see you next time.